Now to another major story this afternoon. An alleged serial killer who was living among us is now off the streets. Fairfax County police say they've arrested who they're calling the shopping cart killer. Investigators are connecting the D.C. man to at least four homicides. Most recently, the death of a D.C. woman whose remains were discovered in Alexandria earlier this week. News 4 Starcy Spencer explains how the suspect used online dating services to meet his victims. Police are labeling this man, Anthony Robinson, the shopping cart killer. He's been connected to four deaths in Virginia so far. They believe missing Northeast D.C. woman Cheyenne Brown may have been one of his victims. Her remains believed to have been found in a large plastic container near a shopping cart off of Fairhaven Avenue in the Alexandria area of Fairfax County on Wednesday. The remains of a second unidentified person were also found in that container near the Moon Inn. Police say Brown is a serial killer and they believe believe there are more victims. Uh, after he inflicts trauma to his victims and kills them, he transports their bodies to their final resting place, literally in a shopping cart. And there's video to that effect. Robinson is charged with killing Tanita Smith and Beth Redman in Harrisonburg, Virginia. Their bodies were found in a vacant lot in November. Police say Robinson met at least three of his victims on dating sites. Detectives believe the fourth victim could be a missing person last seen in the area. We're going to work with our law enforcement partners, homicide detectives, missing person detectives, to see if we can identify any other victims and families and communities that he has brought harm to. Police say there is evidence placing Robinson and Cheyenne Brown in the same area the day she disappeared in September. And there's video of her at the Huntington Metro Station in Northern Virginia. Robinson has not been charged in her death. She's been tentatively identified through a unique tattoo. We need to act right now with our law enforcement partners to figure out who else our killer has had contact with and what's his M.O. Brown's relative believes he saw Robinson in her home in the days leading up to her disappearance. I seen him over here like a day later and I did the same thing, put him out again. I haven't heard nothing since then. Haven't seen him around here since then. Family members say Brown had a seven-year-old son and was pregnant with her second child. Detectives are asking anyone who knows Robinson or may have met him on a dating site to come forward. Darcy Spencer, News 4. Police say Robinson has no criminal record and has not provided a statement to authorities. They say he's lived a transient life with addresses in D.C., Prince George's County, and New York.